Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and very funny episode of Star Trek Lower Decks, which, by the way, happy Star Trek Day, everyone. That's right, it is September 8th. I think this is the day of the first pilot that dropped for Star Trek, the original series, over 50 years ago, something like that. Anyway, the point is, for whatever reason, it's Star Trek Day today. <laughs> Got some cool teases for forthcoming Star Trek shows and a sneak peek of next week's episode of Lower Decks. I'll talk about that later in another video, but now I'm going to talk about today's video or today's newest episode of Lower Decks, which was quite good. So if you're not caught up or if you haven't seen it yet, you don't want to keep watching or listening as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. First off, I love that they confirmed a suspicion I had, especially after the end of like t at the end of season two. At the in the season two finale, we saw Jen the Andorian save Mariner's life during their rescue operation to rescue the other ship, and it showed them uh, being quite friendly towards one another in the bar afterwards. And so I'm not at all surprised that Mariner is now romantically connected with Jen, as evidenced by the fantasy that the rocks, the fantasy rocks were presenting to her in this episode. So I thought that was a nice little, uh, a nice little development for Mariner, for her character. But she and Jen are now in an item, or not really an item, because she says they don't like labels. But <laughs> I thought, good for her, that's great. And then the other thing I liked is I can't remember the character's name, but I did recognize the act, the character, and I'm pretty sure it's voiced by the same actress. There's a, a couple of episodes in Next Generation where Jordy LaForge kind of falls in love with the holographic version of this very real scientist. And then the real scientist herself discovers his holographic fantasy almost that he has of her when she's aboard the Enterprise working on some experiment or whatever. And I guess, <laughs> I guess Rutherford had a fantasy about her as well, but not in the romantic or sexual kind, but his was more scientific based or something like that. <laughs> and then the, like the weird rivalry between them and the other Cali class ship, the Carlsbad, was kind of funny, although it turns out the Carlsbad actually respected and admired the hell out of the Cerritos crew. And I love Tendi's storyline as well about how she finally got a chance to speak up and her mentor, her proper better mentor was Dr. Ta'ana, not the weird bird psychiatrist guy who clearly didn't know what he was doing or was unaware of how useless he was being to her. <laughs> but I love Ta'ana's scenes with the guy with the parasite on his foot and how she meows and revs up a chainsaw right before cutting off his foot to save him. <laughs> oh, the show makes me laugh. Another funny episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your night if I don't see you. Check back later this evening for a film review that for a movie I've seen in a short while as well I think it's going to be a good one have a great rest of your night and of course until next time live long and prosper